Julian from Digital Trends, and I'm at Qualcomm's Snapdragon Wear 3100 launch event. It's a new processor they just announced. It's a successor to the Wear 2100 that's been powering Wear OS watches for the past two years. Uh, finally, we're getting an upgrade, and this upgrade brings a lot of new improvements. For example, there's a traditional watch mode that will let you extend, turn off Wear OS and, and extend the battery of life to 30 days, and there's also a new ambient mode that uses this ultra-low-power coprocessor. Uh, so basically with the Wear 3100, there's the main processor that handles a lot of the traditional tasks, like interacting with the watch and running all those smartwatch features, and then it hands it off to the coprocessor for when it really doesn't need to do a lot of other uh, interactivity or really much else other than display the watch time and maybe a few complications that you see here. Uh, like that switch that happened right now, this is the new ambient mode. So basically that coprocessor is going to help this watch stay way more efficient and uh, let's check it out. This is a quick uh, demo look at the new Wear OS upgrade that's coming soon for a lot of these watches. Basically, it's redesigned. You have a little different looking uh, settings tile over here. Uh, this now, uh, swiping to the left is Google Fit. Swiping to the right is Google Assistant and all these other details about your day. And this is the new notification interaction system that you can tap on each thing. Uh, to interact with things further and swipe them away as well. And pressing the button will turn on your apps and these buttons will be uh, triggered to different things. For example, this is to track Google Fit workouts and uh, that one's for your music, but of course you'll be able to change that in settings to suit what you want. The traditional watch mode, which is what you see here, will let this watch last for about 30 days and that's all thanks to the Wear 3100 processor. Basically it's allowing you to see all these basic watch functions like a rich colored screen, a moving second hand and some complications. Of course you won't be able to do too much in this mode. It's more to make sure that you have this watch screen on and uh, available in case you say forgot your charger. Uh, it's pretty similar to what we've seen before with, with the Huawei Watch 2 where you can turn off Wear OS to uh, just sort of see this uh, screen for the basic information. This is a demo example of a sports mode on a Wear OS watch with the Wear 3100. I uh, can't really interact with it much, but basically the idea is that you'll be seeing uh, a, a mode like this where you can sort of get all your information at a glance quickly, like your beats per minute, calories, miles, uh, cadence, all sorts of different stats, and you'll be able to move through uh, all that information as you're running for quick information. And the real benefit though with the Wear 3100 processor and this type of sports mode is that you'll now be able to use this uh, GPS and heart rate monitor for up to 15 hours on a single charge, which is way more than the traditional uh, three hours uh, on a single charge that you got with the Wear 2100. So that's a big improvement, and we can't really wait to see how uh, these manufacturers implement it with other services such as Google Fit, or any other uh, third-party running app. This is uh, showcasing the ambient mode. Uh, as you can see, this is an older version of Wear OS, actually, um, or the current version that's not yet updated to the new one that Google showed off. Uh, but basically, you can notice uh, when the screen dims, that's going to be the new ambient mode. Yeah, so this, this is basically that little switch that happened right there. That's the new ambient mode, so that's the always on display. So it's pretty neat because before ambient mode used to either be uh, black and white or just stripped down much more in features uh, so that it didn't really look like the same watch face you had. And that was meant to sort of save battery life, but still it always generally consumed a lot more battery life. With this mode, it swapped to that always on uh, ambient mode. Uh, but actually it's using the ultra low power coprocessor to run a few of these tasks which makes this more efficient so you shouldn't really see too much of a hit to battery life. Of course if you still turn off your screen you can get better battery life but Qualcomm told us you should still expect to see about a day and a half or two days of battery life with uh, this, all, this watch mode on and uh, using the watch to its full capabilities. So that's the Wear 3100 processor. It's very exciting. The first watches we're going to see are the Montblanc Summit 2 next month. And then we're going to see more watches from Fossil Group and Louis Vuitton, as well as other manufacturers.